So this video is about object-oriented programming in MATLAB. First, we start by uh, explaining what is object-oriented object programming is. OOP or OOP. So object-oriented programming is basically you have objects, you define objects in your program, and for each object, you have properties. For example, properties. For example, each object here can, can have a color. For example, this one is blue, this one is green, and then it has a shape. For example, this is big, biggest square, this is a smallest square, and so on. Uh, so as you see, each object can have properties. And, uh, and these objects are defined in a class. The class has can have, you can put a name for your class. For example, this class can be, um, can be named presence. So this is your class. These are the objects of your class, and they have properties. Each of them have can have several properties. Now, for this example, I define two. The next thing is that for these properties in your class, you can define functions that can be applied to these properties. Um, in object-oriented programming, these functions are called methods. So that's basically um, object-oriented programming in a nutshell. Again, you have you have a class class of objects. Your objects can be anything. Let's say I have a class of a students. So my class is called a students. And each a student has properties. Let's say name and grade. So for each a students, you define these properties. And then you can define functions that can be applied to these properties. For example, you can say that I want to increase the grade of each object. So this each student is called object. I want to increase the grade by 10. Um, so when you define that function, that function will be applied to the property grade of each student. These functions in object-oriented programming are called methods. So when you start programming in MATLAB, you define first your properties. Properties. So for this particular example, you put name and grade here. And then there is another section for method where you put the functions that you want to apply to these grades. So you have class def here, class def. You define the name of your class, properties, methods, and then end. So that's it. Another important thing you should know that in methods, it's, uh, it's a good practice to construct your object, as I will show you in MATLAB. So let's uh, look at the code for this particular class. So class def is students, the first line. Then I defined, OK, how did I open this? If you go to new class, it's already pre-built. You have class dev, where you put a students here, the properties. So you just fill it out with name and age. And then you go to method to define functions for these properties. Uh, the first thing you have to do is that when you go to methods, 
to these codes basically construct your object. So this is basically what you have to do as the first step for your methods. You are constructing each object, which is each student here, you're constructing each object. How? You say for each object, a student, it has two properties, A and B, where A, object dot name is uh, A will basically the name of my object and B is the grade of my object. So you're constructing a student's A and B as your object. If you had more properties, then you had a student's A, B, C, D, and so on. So if you want to, this is will be useful. You will see later that if I say a student, for example, Sam 18, then MATLAB automatically know that Sam is the name of my object and the grade is 18. And then I just wrote two functions for each student. The first function is called show me, show me object. What it does, it's going to print the name of my object has passed with object grade. And, and the second object I define increase the grade of each student by one point. So object.grade, that means grade of my object. Grade of my object plus one. Put it in the grade of my object. So I'm going to save it and run it. Now it's time to define an object. Let's say I say this is what constructor did. So if I say a student, same thing, Sam, 87, I'm creating an object, a student that with the name Sam and the grade 87. Now you can apply each of these functions to this. Uh, object. So let's me call this Z. So my object is now Z. Now Z show me should apply show me function to object Z. Okay, Kelly was my previous one, so I'm going to say clear all. Z is Sam, Z is the students, Sam, 78, and then Z, show me, Sam has passed with 78, which is this function, and then Z increase, should increase the grade by one. So it changed 78 to 79. The problem with this code is that if I type Z grade, it should give me 79, but it gives me 78. Because MATLAB, if you type the code as is, it wouldn't save the output of my function. So in order to fix that, you can come here and type handle I'm going to save this and run it now let's try it again so Z is same code Z is that now I want to increase the grade of Z And so what was the grade of Sam? It's 78. Okay. Now Z increase. It's 79. Now Z grade. 79. So it has stayed 79, whereas before it went back to 78.